That's right, you read the title correctly. Today we'll learn how to animate objects without using keyframes or without using fusion. I know, you're like, what? But you can make it look like this or like that one over there. And you can even change it up a little bit, kind of like that, or maybe even like that. And you may notice in some of my videos, I have objects just kind of flip onto the screen, kind of like these. And it's super quick and easy to do it. And that's what we're talking about in today's Quick Tip Tuesday. So let's jump into it. But before we jump into Resolve, if you're new here, my name is Jay Yulofsky and I make weekly DaVinci Resolve tutorials. So if you're interested in that, consider subscribing to the channel. So jumping into Resolve here, here's how we're going to do this. Super easy. You guys are going to love this. I'm in the edit tab right here and the intro you just saw, I have in the timeline here. So I've got my different images. These are just static images, but you can see in a minute here where you can do this with video images or pretty much anything you can bring in Resolve here for the most part. So I've got my images here set up where I want them to appear on the screen at the size I want. And we have our different things. They kind of just pop in right now. And over here I've got, you know, all these thumbnails that I got just kind of sweeping in. And then at the end here, we do have the video clips. If I play through that, you can see we got the video clips there. Now, right now, they just appear on the screen, right? So starting with these first two, the Resolve logo, boom, just appears on the screen. Here's the trick. You can use transitions to throw on the beginning part of the clip here, and the transition is going to animate that for you. Check it out. So again, I'm in the Edit tab. I want to come up and open up my effects library right here at the top. I want to go to Video Transitions. Now, you can try this with any transition in here. Most of them work just fine. Some look better than others. You got to just play with your particular clip and how you want it to fly in or whatever. But if you just kind of hover over, you can kind of see how some of them work here. And it's just like on any video clip that you might be using. You can drop anything on there. So let's say I want to do the camera shake on the DaVinci Resolve logo. I'm going to come and just drop it right onto the first part of that clip. And let's say I want to do a 3D flip for the YouTube logo, drop it on there. And then I'm going to give it a second to render here. And now when we play through it, it looks a little something like this. But you can make it look like this. Or like that one over there. And you can see they just fly right on there. Perfect. And then let's say maybe at the end of the clip, I don't want to, uh, you know, have it just fall off and, and just hard cut or fade out. I want to do the same transition. Well, I can just select my transition, hold your alt on PC or option on Mac, hold your option or alt key, drag it over, copy it, boom, drop it on the end of the clip. And now the clip will go out the same way that it came in. Check this out. Play through, but you can make it look like this or like that one over there. And you can fly in and fly out. And that's how I did that initial sequence. I just threw on transitions in the beginning of each one of my clips to do whatever I want. And like I said, pick any clip that you want. Most of them work out pretty good. Some look a little weird, but you just got to find which one works best for you. And I do this all the time when I want to bring stuff onto the screen because let's be honest, I don't want to take the time to keyframe and animate if I just want a simple animation so it doesn't just appear on the screen because that's kind of boring, right? And if you want to even change it up a little bit, you can jump right into the inspector, right? So make sure you have your inspector open select your transition and you can go in and change things on the transition. So you can make it look however you want. And there's a lot of options and ways you can customize the different transitions of how these things come in and out, just like you would on any other video clip. So it's super handy. You know, you want to add motion blur, boom, add in some motion blur. Definitely check out the options. And you can change it up in all kinds of different ways. So there it is. Throw the transitions on the beginning of your clip. You should be good to go here with a cool little animation for your clips here in DaVinci Resolve. If you learned just a little something, just a little something, go ahead and hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Peace. Recording back, it's free flow again and fighting mark four. We're gonna try this just one more time here. Sync that up. All right. I don't know. I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that. All right, let's do it again. Do it again. We're recording on the fighting mark four. Should be good to go here. You know, one of the great things about this angle, you don't see the mess on my desk and I don't gotta clean it up. That's pretty sweet. All right, one last thing I gotta do to record some videos for you guys. Am I recording the screen too? I think so. Recording a monitor? No, stop. All right, stop everything, we're gonna start over. And if you stuck around for a little stuff after the video here, I got some cool things coming up, cool products I'm gonna share with you guys, some giveaways. So if you're interested in giveaways, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified. If you guys wanna win some free stuff, stick around, man. Keep an eye on my channel because we're gonna be having some giveaways coming up, so. If you stuck around till the end of the video and, uh, and you caught this part, good for you, man. I'm, I'm glad you stayed, I'm glad you stayed. It's nice, nice to have you here, you know? Nice to have you here. But uh, here in Jersey, it's almost lunchtime. I gotta get some lunch soon, dude. So cranking out the Quick Tip Tuesday here. Love me some Quick Tip Tuesday. Love a little Quick Tip Tuesday. All right, I gotta stop this because I gotta go in and I don't got a whole bunch of time left. So I gotta get this done today because tomorrow is actually Quick Tip Tuesday. So see you guys later. Peace.